Well, here we are gathered around this two round tables, as it were. Um, but let's start the conversation by maybe making introductions, uh, maybe for the audience. So we'll start with uh, Iyad. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, Roy. As always, it's a pleasure. I'm Iyad Tarazi, CEO of Federated Wireless. We're a software company that is really focused on taking the best that AWS had to offer and turn it into private wireless solutions for the best customers, as you're going to hear. Yeah, let's talk to one of those best customers. Introduce yourself, please. Bill. Thanks, Roy. Bill Britton, uh, Chief Information Officer at California State Polytechnic University in California. Uh, we're so big a state, we have three polytechnics now, so you can get lost there. All right. Chris, introduce yourself, please. Yes, thanks, Roy. I'm Chris McKenna. I lead business development for private networks for AWS. Excellent. Very good. And we're here to talk about private wireless. So we'll start with Bill. So. What is it about private wireless that you see as value to someone like Cal Poly, right? How does introduction of private wireless enhance the, the life and maybe, you know, the productivity or the capabilities of Cal Poly? Well, um, you know, it starts with our conversation around going to the cloud and the, the amount of data we generate on the university. Um, and so that, that's really big for it, particularly a polytechnic because we have ag, we have high tech, we have all of those things all massive data generators. And so we're pushing data around the university like never before. And um, believe it or not, where we are is one of the largest fiber hubs in the US, but it's still just not enough because we're limited by the capacity on campus. That is our current wireless systems and other things. And so if you really look at what I'm dealing with, it's a matter of subtraction. Everything we do on, on the internet is a subtract. If I want to add more data from our ag school, I have to subtract it from somewhere else. And so what we really wanted in the private 5G arena is to look for some solution that is no longer detracting from the ability to push data, but an additive. And not only that, it's smart in how it does it. So that it allows us to pick and choose where and how the data is processed, how it's moved, how it's pushed along, where it's computed at, and really expand the capability that drives us now to a digital campus with the proper enterprise to support it. Yeah, I think that a couple of things in there were interesting to me. The fact that you know you have a lot of different use cases on campuses, like industrial, right, agricultural, yes. ag tech generates a lot of data. Absolutely. Where private wireless is not just connectivity, but it's an enabler yes. right, for you to do something with it with the students. So very, very valuable. And so I know recently we all saw the announcement of this thing called integrated private wireless on AWS, no less. And who better to tell us about IPW and AWS than Chris? So what is IPW? Yeah, thanks, Roy. So last week we announced uh, a new partner program uh, in AWS. We're calling it Integrated Private Wireless on AWS. And the program is designed to, to help customers like Help Poly to explore um, private 5G offerings, to explore use cases, industry verticals that is relevant, um, and learn more about the benefits that uh, private 5G solutions can bring to them. Um, so inside that partner program, um, we have uh, federated wireless who play a really important part in that. Um, actually, they play two roles within the program. One is to build end-to-end -end solutions, to take out to the market using pre-integrated AWS uh, infrastructure and pre-integrated connectivity and over-the-top application vendors, um, and package all that up and take it out to market as a single managed services offering. And what that does is it breaks down kind of three barriers to entry that we see in the market today uh, that our customers are telling us we need to solve. One is high upfront cost. So we work to you know, create a managed service offering together, which has that cost um, you know, spread across the, 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 the whole life of the, the agreement. Um, we work to uh, ensure that the solutions that are, are part of that offering are pre-integrated on AWS, so, so AWS pick up the sort of heavy lift of doing all the architectural work and the, and the integration work. Um, and what that means is that it breaks down the complexity, but it also accelerates time to market, which is the third, um, the third problem that we're trying to solve is get things out quickly. So as we, we go and we address specific industry verticals and we go and address the requirements of Cal Poly and others like them, um, we can you know, create reusable offerings that we can then take to customers just like those. And that's what the program is all about. So that's number one um, role that Federated play. Number two is we are also working with CSPs to create end-to-end -end offerings. CSPs need uh, solutions uh, uh, integrators, SIs. Um, so Federated also play that role within the program. So we're delighted to work with Federated on that. 
Excellent. So in terms of the dual role that Federated Wireless plays, I mean, I think it's really critical um, for programs like IPW on AWS, which is, I think, very helpful, as Chris points out, right? Reduce the cost, reduce the complexity, and reduce the time, time to market, um, or time to value, as it were, right? Not necessarily to market, but time to value. So yeah, you've been in this space for some time now, private wireless. You clearly are experts in this space. Um, Given what you're seeing at Cal Poly and other customers, and with your partners um, like AWS, what do you envision, what do you see for private wireless, right? What, what do you see in the next couple of years? Explosive growth, perhaps? Well, absolutely. We're beginning to see the curve pick up. Uh, we're an ecosystem company. We're a partner enablement company. We're a customer enablement company. We, our belief has always been the bigger the party, the better the results. And we believed in AWS, not just because of technology and solutions, but also the massive partner ecosystem they bring. That's a huge advantage. We believe in people like Bill to enable him, support him in whatever he needs because it's the bills of the world. They're going to create the application. They're going to design what's going on. So I am not a believer that this is one SKU, one application solves the world. I'm a believer this is about enabling the enterprise customers at the end of the day to do what they need to do in the simplest way possible. So what do I see? I see a lot more people following on Bill's steps and asking Bill for advice, which is exactly what we're working on now, is to create a community around Bill, a community around supporting the community that AWS is creating, enabling all of the models that they're creating. We're here to bring other people with us. We all want to succeed. And the, the issue is big and need to be solved. Uh, customers want to manage their networks. They want to solve their problems, but they want to do them in the most flexible and economic you know, and secure ways. We're here to help them. I think that's absolutely fair. I think private wireless brings that reliability, that security, um, that enablement of uh, digital use cases. I think that's, that's the critical thing. I think I, one thing that I've learned in this industry is that you know, very, very often we look at enterprises or, or organizations. You know, historically, Wi-Fi was about connectivity, fundamentally. But private wireless is about applications and business problems that people want to solve, right? And I think collectively, what we're seeing here is a way to solve this. And speaking of parties, so if we want to get on the integrated private wireless on AWS party, where do we start, Chris? So I would say to enterprise customers, um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that uh, as part of this launch, we have also launched, I think we call the integrated private wireless portal. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a rich set of information about industry verticals, about use cases, and about the partners we have that can deliver against those use cases. So what I would say to enterprises is go and have a look at the portal. Uh, there will soon be uh, federated wireless uh, solutions on there, and federated solutions are also available on our AWS marketplace today, which is another source of procuring those. Excellent. So that's a great way to get started. And I want to thank Iyad, thank you, Chris, and especially thank you, Bill, for making the trip um, to this roundtable. And uh, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed the conversation and hopefully the audience is able to get on that integrated private wireless on AWS as a mouthful. Ben Wagon party IPW. Soon. Yeah, <laughs> IPW. Is that okay? Yeah. Very good. Thank well, you, Roy. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Roy.